More tonight on that deadly plane crash near Courtney. The small plane was being flown by a 75-year-old pilot when it went down yesterday morning. Witnesses say it literally broke apart in midair. Fellow aviators gathered today to mourn the loss of a good friend as investigators from the Transportation Safety Board arrived. They've spent their afternoon combing through the wreckage. A News reporter Gord Kerbis has the story. Flights were continuing as normal in and out of the Courtney Air Park today, but behind the scenes there's a sense of loss following the tragic death of a member of the local aviation community. 75-year-old Bert Smith died yesterday when the aircraft he's seen posing with crashed just west of Courtney. He loved to fly. He lived to fly, right? Yesterday at the crash scene, close friend Dan Annan described Smith as someone who had dreamed of flying since he was a young boy. It was something he was able to fulfill after his retirement. He was uh, in Holland uh, as a youngster, and when during the war, at the end of the war, when the Allies came over to bomb um, Germany, he was all cheering and, and he wanted to uh, become a pilot, you know, because there were his heroes coming. You know, so he finally got to the stage where he could do that, you know. Annan was amongst those waiting as searchers worked from the ground and from the air to try to locate Smith's home built aircraft. It was finally discovered in a forested area, and today, Transportation Safety Board inspectors were looking at that wreckage. Right now, he's on site documenting um, the site and gathering up. Uh, uh, pieces of the wreckage. We hope the physical evidence will help us uh, determine what happened. Along with the physical evidence, investigators will also be reviewing several eyewitness reports. Many describe seeing the wooden ultralight aircraft break apart in the sky. The police have taken statements which will be useful for us uh, to determine what the pilot was doing uh, leading up to uh, the accident and, and that will help us put our puzzle together. Part of their investigation will also include looking into how the eight-month-old Jodell aircraft was constructed. Smith built it out of a fir tree he felled on his property. It's not the first aircraft he's constructed. First, we have to confirm exactly what plans did it, what model was it, and then determine if the kit designer had built in a structural integrity sufficient to, uh, to accommodate aerobatic maneuvers. Determining if the aircraft could handle aerobatics is key because witnesses say that's what the aircraft appeared to be doing just moments before the crash. In Courtney, Gord Curvis, A News.